hey guys and welcome back to my channel so i know things look a little different and that's because i'm actually not sitting on the floor oh my god <laughs> um so i talk more in a get ready with me that i just filmed about like this whole setup so it's not always going to look like this when i'm in the process of like moving everything out etc so um we'll talk more about that and that get ready with me but today i wanted to come on and finally review some more products for y'all i am praying that this goes without a hitch because i smashed my hand at work yesterday so i'm hoping that i don't regret filming this but <laughs> i've been like so ready to use these products today we are going to be using the she sent it plum nectar and agave collection so i got three products from the collection um, they came out, is it five, I want to say? I want to say there's five products total in the collection, but I only got three. Um, so the products that I have in front of me are the Plum Nectar and Agave Moisture Rich Hair Mayo Deep Conditioning Treatment for all curl types. That's what that looks like, that really pretty reflective packaging. And the Plum Nectar and Agave Leave-In and Styling Hair Yogurt. And of course, I had to pick up the styler. So I got the Plum Nectar and Agave Curl Perfection Styling Custard. So all of these are formulated with um, agave and I want to say it's, yeah, Cockadoo Plum. So I'm really excited to try these. Um, my boo, Trini Girl Natural, she's like the only person I've seen review these, but she has really been enjoying them. There's also a shampoo and a styling syrup in the collection, which I think the website is restocked now. I almost tried to wait until I got my hands on the things that were out of stock, but I didn't see the point in it like I have so many things why not just go ahead and use what I have I feel like I want to pick up the styling syrup and the shampoo later than I will but it didn't feel like necessary things I have enough here to you know kind of gather how I feel about the collection as a whole so if you're interested in seeing hearing my thoughts and seeing my results with the she sent it plum nectar and agave collection then just keep on watching <laughs> All right, y'all, so I just shampooed my hair. I use the Main Choice Cheer Shampoo. I love to use that when I need like really good cleanse, but I still want something that's going to keep my hair soft, and that one does it. My hair has been really dry. The wash and go that you guys just saw, I don't even know what day that was. It's been really cold out here, so. We've gone from really, really hot to really, really cold, all in a matter of like two days, so. This is what my hair is looking like. Um, the wash and go I had before was my Unicurl wash and go with the Curl Fantasy Gel and the Aloe Curl Spray. I love that combo. And that held up for me really well, but it was time to shampoo. So that's where my hair is. Okay. So I'm going to be using the Plum Nectar and Agave Moisture Rich Hair Mayo Deep Conditioning Treatment for all curl types. It's a weekly deep conditioning treatment intensively moisturizes hair. It completely restores hydration to very dry hair, penetrating the hair shaft to add elasticity, rehydrate, and rejuvenate strands. The result is a long-lasting moisture, hydration, and natural curl definition, which is totally what I need right now. Um, because like I said, it's very dry here, and therefore my hair has been very dry. And it just says apply to freshly shampooed hair, leave on for 15 or up to one hour, 15 minutes or up to one hour. And the first five ingredients are purified water, cockadoo plum extract, VTMS, CDR alcohol, and acetyl alcohol that is directly followed by the agave nectar. So the marketed ingredients are nice and high up in this. There's also some avocado, sunflower, and sweet almond oils in here. And there is aloe in here, but it's lower on the list. Hi, baby. Y'all, oh, there she is. Y'all can kind of see her. <laughs> this smells so good. A light fruity scent, and this is a very creamy conditioner, but it still has movement to it. I don't know if y'all can see her moving. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Mm. 
Mm, this feels really good, y'all. Like, it feels really, really good. So this is definitely like a thicker mask. It's rich, but it's not so thick that it doesn't move through the hair. You know what I mean? Like it still gets through. So that's where my hair is and y'all can see. I mean, my hair is eating this up. It is literally eating this up. Look at that. Y'all know I go hard for She Sent It, so. But I mean, y'all consistently see my results and you see why I go hard for She Sent It because She Sent It and my hair are like this. I really took the time to make sure that every single strand was coated um, because I'm trying to get all the moisture that I can. So this is how much I used. So like I probably have about four more uses of this left. Um, so I'm really excited about that because so far this feels really good. The slip. If I had to give it like a rating out of five, I would give it like a four. Because it is a richer conditioner, um, does sacrifice a little bit of the slip that you could get out of that. But I'm truthfully okay with that because it feels so nourishing upon application. You can feel the emollients to it. And I mean, y'all saw my curls were instantly like, oh, hey what's good <laughs> so I feel like this is going to be um really good for me it says to leave on um for 15 minutes or up to one hour so I think I'm probably going to sit underneath my hooded dryer for 15 minutes really give it time to like heat up and then I'm going to rinse it out and come back let you guys know my final thoughts on this and then we'll get into styling all right y'all so here's my hair with all the deep conditioner rinsed out and I mean is there any surprise? No, there is none. My hair <laughs> feels so good. So in terms of how it feels, I can definitely feel some of the emollients left on my hair. My hair feels very smooth. It just feels so smooth and buttery. My hair feels very buttery, very soft, but not too soft. Not too soft, because y'all know my hair is <laughs> not too soft. So I love the way this feels. If you are in need of like intense moisture, this is going to give it to you. This gets like an A plus in my book. This might be a contender for like um, Marula Mallow and Royal Honey and Argan and Avocado Moisture Max. Those are so good. This is extremely moisturizing it feels so good on the strands so now we're going to use the plum nectar and agave leave-in styling hair yogurt for all curl types she looks like and this has a beautiful purpley pink color look at that right there so good this three-in-one treatment acts as a moisturizer styler and leave-in conditioner infused with the extracts of plum and agave nectar it instantly melts tangles and hydrates dry hair Leaves hair feeling soft, smooth, and supple. Exactly what I'm needing, girl. Exactly what I'm needing. <laughs> um, it just says, apply a liberal amount to each section of damp hair before detangling. Do not rinse out. Use as a daily moisturizer or for styling and refreshing your curls. And the first five ingredients are water, coffee plum, extract, 
BTMS and CDR alcohol, sunflower seed oil, and agave nectar. That's followed by sweet almond and avocado, as well as some, is that next is it nettle? I wanna say that's nettle. They didn't put the common name in there, but I think that's nettle. And it has that same fruity scent. So let's go ahead and get right into it. TBH, the last she scented leave-in I used that was in a jar I did not like. So hopefully <laughs> I will like this. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you don't know that I had a disappointing she scented product. And that means that you didn't watch my disappointing products video. So you should go watch that. <laughs> I am just taking this out of the cap. So I'm gonna go in with that much on this section. It feels nice, light. Now this is giving me slight foaming vibes, which is part of the reason why I wasn't a fan of the Baobab fluffy curls. It's not as bad as that one though. The Baobab Fluffy Curls, like, it was so foamy in my hair that I like, I couldn't do anything. It was just a mess. It just made a big mess and it was very annoying. I just used that little bit out of the cap and that's where my hair is at. Yeah, if that slight bit of foaming action bothers you, you may not like this. But this isn't, this isn't bad. Like, this isn't annoying. It's not, like, plopping out of my fingers because it's super foamy. Now it does look like this leave-in is penetrating my hair. That can be the beauty of some leave-ins that do foam, is that I do find that they penetrate a little bit quicker. And because they foam a little bit, they distribute easier and you don't have to use as much. Like wait until I show you how much I used of this leave-in. So this is how much I used. So I literally just used like the little bit that was chilling in the cap and then a little bit off the top of this. Um, As far as how this feels right now, it says it instantly melts away tangles and I do agree with that. I was able to detangle the rest of the way through, get my, my shed hair out and hydrates hi dry hair and my hair does feel very hydrated. It feels very soft right now. Leaves hair feeling soft, smooth and supple. And right now, I would say that that is a resounding yes. I don't think this is going to take the place of any of my favorites, but this is a very nice leave-in conditioner. I mean, she has the curls looking a juicy, 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 juicy. So the leave-in is definitely doing its job. So let's go ahead and talk about the custard. Now we're going to go into the Plum Nectar and Agave Curl Perfection Styling Custard. This is also a resounding 13 ounces. That's what she looks like. Featuring, featuring agave nectar and plum extract to give hair amazing moisture. This custard leaves your hair soft, manageable, and healthy. Gives great hold and frizz-free definition, which helps to create beautiful curly styles. So I saw my boo Trini use this, and she got really beautiful results with it. Um, it says, while hair is soaking wet, apply the custard to small sections from roots to ends, and proceed to finger style or wash and go, allow to fully dry. So the first five ingredients are purified water, cockatoo plum, Sunflower seed oil, xanthan gum, and vegetable glycerin. So do be aware that there's xanthan gum in here if you have issues. Um, xanthan gum can be notorious for flaking. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, this does have the agave a little bit further down. This does say to apply to soaking wet hair, but I kind of worry about that just because, like I said, this leave-in is very frothy. So... A lot of times when I 
do the whole soaking wet thing with leave-ins like this, it can get a little problematic. So we'll see. Okay, so one thing I do like is that now that the leave-in is applied, um, when I go back and add water to get the proper amount, you know, the proper moisture level in my hair, um, it's not foaming back up again. So that's good because some things do that and it just makes it really annoying. It makes it really hard to apply your styler. I really like this texture. It reminds me a lot of my pomegranate pear oil and gel pudding. I feel like this does feel lighter though. A little bit stickier too. Like that one is very, the oil and gel pudding is very jiggly. This one, you can definitely see it kind of has a little bit more of that snotty texture. And here we go. I'm kind of feeling this texture though like it's not it's mixing very well with the leave-in conditioner which I really appreciate um because I was kind of worried about that but it's it's not the same as the pomegranate pe pear oil and gel pudding like there's definitely a difference to it and I wish I had another jar here to show you guys and I truly have no clue if I'm going in with too much. I'm not being super heavy handed. It's just that I think this is such a goopy texture that I kind of feel like I'm overdoing it, even though I don't think I am, but I'll find out. I'm just trying to be careful because I know that xanthan gum is in here. So that's, ooh. I like it. This is where I am on the container. So I have about four to five uses left of this baby. I do have some places that are like beating up slightly, but not terribly at all. My curls look plump, but I do see some frizz like here trying to peek through. That's not abnormal for my hair though. Um, I feel like my curls look very shiny and juicy, but they still feel lightweight. They don't feel like they're extremely weighed down at all in the slightest. So we're gonna see. I'm going to go. I'm really feeling this. Really feeling this. I like how it looks. So I'm hoping that, what I'm hoping for, I'm hoping that I have good curl control, but still soft hair. I'm hoping for some volume, some extra bounce. 
that's what I'm hoping for with this wash and go. So I'm going to go hang out. Um, I'm probably gonna let this air dry for about an hour and 30 and then finish off underneath my hooded dryer because I don't like to go to bed with wet hair. I'm hoping that I will have results for you when I come back from work. Okay guys, so I am back. And damn it, she did it again. <laughs> I am so happy with my hair. Let me turn around for you. Like I said before I left, I wasn't sure what to expect. And I'm so happy with what I got. First, let me say this, my results with these products are not the same as pomegranate pear. Similar textures, but definitely different results and experiences. Let's start with the Moisture Rich Hair Mayo. Again, it says it's a weekly deep conditioning treatment that intensively moisturizes hair, completely restores hydration to very dry hair, penetrating the hair shaft to add elasticity, rehydrate and rejuvenate strands the result is long lasting moisture hydration and natural curl definition yeah this is so good um this mask truthfully is pure moisture um and there is some cholesterol a little bit further down as well which is um cholesterol is loaded with amazing fatty acids for the hair um so that's the hair needs it this mask is definitely coming for some of my other faves, just based on how rich it is. Um, the only thing it really lacks is the slip that some of my other favorites have. But I can't fault this mask for that. And I feel like when I'm in the shower, which is where I usually apply my deep conditioners, I'm not going to have any issues, you know what I mean? That's all that I use. The texture is rich and creamy. And it made my hair feel so smooth, soft, velvety. It just, it just did the work. Like, it felt so good. And it was what my hair desperately needed with this crazy weather. Now it's freezing cold outside after being in the 70s for, like, a week and a half. So... My hair's kind of been going through it, and I feel like this really just picked it up in the moisture department. Um, this isn't <clears throat> what I would suggest if you either need a good moisture protein balance or you need, like, protein protein. This isn't what I would suggest, but when you are in a in a place where you need hella moisture, like this, this, <laughs> this is going to get you there. So I am a huge fan of this deep conditioner. And then... The Leave-In Styling Hair Yogurt is a three-in-one treatment that acts as a moisturizer, styler, and leave-in conditioner. Infused with extracts of plum and agave nectar, it instantly melts tangles and hydrates dry hair. Leaves hair feeling soft, smooth, and supple. This definitely added definition to my curls. Um, I feel like as I continued to use the products, the moisture and the definition really built upon each other. Oh, just something that I like. I like it when my products play well together and add another layer as I go along. Even though I got a slight bit of foaming action while applying it, to me it didn't really matter because by the time I got around to that piece, the leave-in had completely soaked into my strands. Like, no residue, nothing. It made my hair feel so good. Um, I wouldn't say that this is like that soft but strong feeling. It doesn't make my hair feel overly soft, but this is a very moisturizing and softening leave-in. I was kind of worried at first because of that foaming action, but when I saw how it really played in my hair and how everything kind of worked together, it, it really is no issue for me. It definitely helps to melt tangles. I was able to finish detangling my hair. And once I was like, had this through, like I didn't have any more tangles. I didn't have any excess shed hair. Um, it says that it's a moisturizer, styler, and leave-in conditioner. Now, I don't feel like this is like, you know, like my Ajwa leave-in conditioner where it's definitely like a solid 
moisturizer leave-in hybrid, but this is a very moisturizing leave-in. I think you can get away with adding a little bit of a moisturizer if you need to, but I feel like for me, I don't. Like the, the moisture is solid, the moisture is there. So for me, this can be like one and, you know, just go ahead, apply my styler and go. Um, I can't really see anybody using this on its own for a one and done though um, because it is so softening. I highly doubt this would give anybody hold, but I feel like it does aid in styling and that it really does help to go ahead and set the shape and the integrity of the curl before you do anything else, if that makes sense. So I really like this. This is another really great one. I don't know if I'd buy a backup of it because I mean, y'all see how little of this I used. It's going to take me a millennia to go through that. <laughs> so I may not get a backup. But this is, it's backup worthy. It's a really good leave-in. It doesn't beat out my top leave-ins, but it's also a really, really good leave-in, if that makes sense. This Curl Perfection Styling Custard, y'all. 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 <laughs> this did not feel the way that I thought it would. This felt totally different from how I thought it would feel. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a really, really good way. Aside from the fact that like some of the pieces of my hair just want to be strange and like hang down in a weird shape. Um, this, this wash and go is stunning. Like, I got so many compliments at work today. Um, now, when I got up, <clears throat> I intentionally just ran my fingers over my hair, but I did not use any oil because I know my job. And so I didn't want to overly break the cast. But there is a substantial cast. Um, it's not extremely hard, like a wet line or anything like that, but there is a substantial cast. Um, to go back over the claims... Featuring agave nectar and plum extract to give hair amazing moisture. This custard leaves your hair soft, manageable, and healthy. Gives great hold and frizz-free definition, which helps to create beautiful curly styles. So, for me and my fine hair, which can go super soft very quick, while my hair, yes, is soft, it's not soft the way the pomegranate pear makes my hair. The pomegranate pear makes my hair ultra soft. Like I get beautiful definition, um, but it's more of that like effortless definition, if you know what I mean. Like it comes in and it does the work of setting the curl, but it doesn't really add a ton of extra curl definition, if that makes sense. And I would say that this is like it's curl popping little sister. So my hair definitely is soft um especially in the places where the cast is broken a little bit more for me i think i would choose not to break the cast so early so that i can make i can maintain um this definition for a few days there is a cast i would say it's like a medium but firm cast it's not super duper hard but it's definitely not non-existent either you know what i mean like it's it's there it's in charge you can feel it and the definition that i'm getting with this product and that's where this kind of differs for me because i feel like this is truly a curl enhancer this is really going to enhance the shape of your natural curl pattern, whatever you have, it's going to enhance it. I am a huge fan of this. For me, it's not as strong of a hold as the Tahiti Cocktail Custard. It's that perfect balance between volume and definition. I'm just gonna tell you this. When it's time to co-wash, I'm co-washing these out and putting them right back in because I love 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 this wash and go i also appreciate that it kind of gives me that a little bit of elongation without really disturbing my curl pattern 
but it also doesn't give me a very awkward shape. Sometimes if I want elongation, I have to deal with a very awkward shape and I'm just like, it gets really frustrating sometimes, but I'm not having that issue with this. I love this stuff. Like, like I said, she sent, she sent it has done it again. Um, if I had, honestly, I really can't choose out of the three to not purchase because clearly there were two other things in the collection that I didn't purchase. If you were to try anything, this is a solid like three products to get from that collection because even though I didn't have the shampoo and I didn't have the syrup, it didn't interfere with the quality of the wash and go. The wash and go was still popping even though I don't have those two products. Um, So I feel like you can get away with not having those and being dope, you know? I do want to try the styling syrup because y'all know I love those like curl plumping products so I am probably going to go ahead and purchase that and see how I like it and I'm probably going to end up getting the shampoo too because I'm not gonna lie this collection kind of has me in a trance I'm <laughs> I really really enjoy this collection Before I end this video, I just wanted to come in with my day five hair. Um, this held up so well. I never usually expect more than like three days out of my She Scented Wash and Goes just because they do tend to be lighter in formulation and therefore I don't expect to get long drawn out days. I usually can if I really want to. But I mean, the definition is still going crazy, y'all. I've been working like crazy, sweating a lot, and my hair is still holding up. I actually pretty much laid on it most of today and yesterday because I've been sick. But I just wanted to come in and show you guys this real quick. So I love these products so much that I did end up ordering the shampoo as well as the curling syrup. And I got another one of the Perfecting Custards because I am such a huge fan of how this left my hair so that is my day five update thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please leave me a comment and a like down below this is way more than i expected but i'm so happy because i mean look at look at how she sent it it's just showing out for me i also went ahead and purchased the honey and hibiscus collection from curl origin so i will try to have that up um as soon as i get the package in the mail but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys go try these products out because they are dope. And I will see you guys later. Bye.